excel in education and especially in the elementary level. I, I started my, my career as in a, as in a long-term resident sub at a junior high, which there's, there's more males in the junior high in secondary, uh, which was uh, even in, in, that, in that setting, secondary, uh, they look up to you uh, because in the community and sometimes the population that we serve, a lot of them don't have the father figure. And, um, and that's huge because then they, they, they respect you in a different way. And when you have respect from them, they're more interested. Uh, seeing it in the elementary was very huge. I was able to see a bigger difference why a male uh, role model as a teacher is, makes a big impact. Um, being in the classroom, I've seen uh, students act a certain way with female teachers, with male teachers. When they're with me, they give me the sense of respect and just, let uh, me give you a, a, a perfect example, okay? Uh, I had a student that um, he was in third grade when I first started my teaching, my teaching career as a full-time teacher. And he was, his behavior was very, very challenging, very challenging. Um, I took over halfway through the year. Uh, his previous teacher was, was um, she was a female, right? And she was um, very good, very uh, structured, very, you know, but he wasn't responding to her. He wasn't responding to her. When I went uh, into the classroom, um, he, uh, of course, had that, you know, some challenging behavior, but he was just, uh, gave me a different type of respect. Uh, next year, I had him again. I, I taught a fourth grade class. You know, he, he followed me um, everywhere I would go for recess. He would kind of follow me. His behavior was still you know, challenging, but it wasn't as, as bad. It started becoming better and better. Um, I taught the next school year of a four fifth combo. So I had him in my class again, my administrator is like, you know what, this, he's working very well with you. I was like, okay, that's fine. Uh, so he, one day uh, he comes in, in in a, it was a December, right? It was the month of December. It comes in, gives me this postcard. And I'm like, oh, it says California State Prison. And I'm like, whoa, okay, what is this? Right, so I open it and it was a, a postal uh, card, you know, uh, handmade, it said to the, to the Reyes family. And in the back it says, Mr. Reyes, I wanna bless you and your family. Uh, my son has taken a like in you. Um, all he does is talk about you. And I was like, wow, it was a 3D snowman and he did it all from scratch. You know, his, her, his father was a, an artist. Well, the father is doing life in prison. Um, so he only has his mom and his grandma and his grandpa is very old, but he's in the picture too, but that's all he has. And so when I was there, you know, I would, you know, teach him and, you know, and just joke around with him here and there. He, he liked that. And so it was it's just that, you know, we don't know their personal life, but a lot of the students go through the same. And, uh, and the same student during conference, mom tells me, um, you know what, Mr. Reyes, uh, uh, he, he likes you a lot um, when he's bored at home. Because when I, when I teach, I always wear shirt and tie. So uh, he would always, he, she would tell me every time he's bored, he puts a tie, he has a tie on there that he had. He puts his shirt and tie and pretends to be you. I was like, are you serious? Wow. Yeah, and so that that just kind of gives a, a perspective of how male figures um, could make a difference um, in a in a lot of uh, students that uh, that don't have the, the father at home. For a student that that's that's maybe uh, asking about why is it important to become a teacher. I, I would say it's, it's very rewarding. And I would say uh, maybe you can only change, maybe if you don't change everyone, if you only change one person, it would be amazing. I was like, I'm, you know, and I would give the example, you know, I had an, an educator, an administrator, you know, where, um, you know, Mr. Coverson, where if I was the only one he changed to the, that would be a good success because he gave me an opportunity. Nobody else believed in me. Everybody stereotyped me a certain way. You know, they had me labeled a certain way. And he's the one that was able, that went out of his way 
to to vouch for me, you know, to say, hey, you know, keep this kid around. You know, he has he's smart. He has great grades. It's just a crowd he hangs around with. But if it wasn't his voice that did that for me, who knows what I would have ended up at. Now I'm able to do the same. And so, you know, I could tell him maybe you're in a situation where your experience can help. Even if you help that one person, I was like, look at what, he, what Mr. Corson did. I'm pretty sure he helped a lot more. But if he was to just help me, look what he's doing now. Even though he only helped one person, if it was just me, I'm helping several kids now. A lot of people that I can change. So it's like a domino effect. If you change one or two people, those two, one or two people can change another five or 10. And those five or 10 can change. And that's how we start changing things. But we need to step it up and be able to offer that, you know, and it's rewarding. You know, and I would give an example. You know, have you ever taught somebody how to do something? How does it feel when you teach them? Now, can you imagine teaching them something for them to, for their, for their career and their future to be better? And, um, you know, something like that, you know, I would probably start a conversation with them. 